lab 2 IPv4 submitting. So in this lab we are going to solve three problems. The first problem is twelve dot zero dot zero dot zero. So this is the network ID given to us. So number of subnets needed. So how many subnets we need means we need two subnets. Okay, we want to divide this into two subnets. Then for each subnet we have to find what is the network ID. Uh, that means subnet ID. What is the first host IP address? What is the last host IP address? What is the broadcast IP address? We have to identify. Okay, now let us solve this problem. So first thing I am going to find what is a class. So 12. So 12 means it belongs to class A. So it is a class A IP address. Default subnet mask. So the default subnet mask for this is 255 0 0 0. This is the default subnet mask. So the CIDR value. So CIDR value is, is going to be 8. Now the next very important thing is number of bits to be borrowed. Bits to be borrowed. So how many bits we have to borrow to do subnetting. Okay, so this is going to be the important one. So we are going to apply the formula 2 to the power of n. So this is the formula we are going to apply. So 2 to the power of n. Okay, how many subnets we need means we need two subnets. So 2 to the power of 1 equal to 2. So if you borrow one bit, you can have two subnets. So I am deciding I have to borrow one bit. So then we can have two subnets. Now, so once if you borrow, automatically your subnet mask, default subnet mask is going to be changed. So now the new subnet mask, okay, you can write it as new or we can say it is custom. So the custom subnet mask. Okay, so we have to find what is the custom subnet mask. Okay, so first octet it is 255. In the second octet we are going to borrow 1 bit. So 1 bit we are going to borrow. So the remaining 7 bits is going to be here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 bits. Then we are having 8 bits, 8 bits. So if you apply the place value, so this is going to be 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. So this is going to be 128. So your new subnet mask is going to be 255.128.0.0. Okay, so this is your new subnet mask. Now I am going further. Okay, what is the new CADR value? That means custom CADR value. So you borrowed 1 bit, so 8 plus 1. So this is going to be 9. Okay, how it is 9 means? In the first octet we are having 8 bits, 1 bit we borrowed, so 8 plus 1, so it is going to be 9. So the custom CADR value is 9. Okay, now I am going for the first subnet, subnet 1. Okay, we are going for the first subnet. So in the first subnet, how to find the subnet? first subnet? You have to find subnet ID first. Okay, subnet ID first. Now in the first output, so 12 is available. So I am not going to change that. Okay, so 12 is there because this is the network ID given to us. In the second octet, we borrowed one bit. Okay, we borrowed one bit. So remaining seven bits are available here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven bits available. Then here we are having eight bits, and here the fourth octet it is going to be eight bits. Now, what is the rule for making the subnet for finding the subnet ID means this is going to be your uh, network part and the whole thing it is going to be your host. So what is the formula to find the subnet ID means the entire host ID we have to make zero. Okay, all the host part should be zero. Then one more thing. So here that means one bit we borrow. So if you borrow one bit there will be two options. Okay, I am writing here. If you borrow one bit there will be two options. That means either you can have zero or you can have 1 in this. So for the first subnet I am going to keep 0. 
So I make this as 0 here because this is submit 1. For the next submit, I am going to use the value 1. Okay, now to find the submit ID, what is the formula to find the submit ID means the host port entirely we have to make it 0. So submit ID is equal to 12 dot. So if you just make everything zeros, it is going to be 12 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 but slash 9. Okay, so this is going to be the submit ID. Okay, now I am going for the first host ID. Okay, first host ID. So how to find the first host ID means the formula is very simple. You make all the host bit 1 except the last bit. So the last bit should be 1. So in that case I can directly write it. So 12 dot 0 dot 1 sorry 0 dot 1 okay because the last bit I am going to make it 1. So this is going to be 2 to the power of 0. So 2 to the power of 0 means it is 1. So by default it will be 1. So slash 9. So this is going to be your first host ID. Now I am going for the last host ID. So the last host ID how to calculate means 12 dot we borrowed 1 bit. So this is going to be 0 because this is first submit. Then here we have 8 bits and here we have 8 bits. So to find the last host ID what is the formula means you make everything 1 in the host part. The entire host part should be 1 except the last bit. Okay, except the last bit. So this bit should be 0. The remaining thing you can make everything 1. So now here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 ones. So here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 ones. And here it is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 ones. So if, okay, this is the formula. I repeat the formula make the entire host part once okay you just convert into one except the last bit zero okay now i'm going to convert this binary into decimal so this is equal to so 12 dot you can see this is 2 to the power of 0 2 to the power of 1 2 to the power of 2 2 to the power of 3 2 to the power of 4 2 to the power of 5 2 to the power of 6 so you can add everything okay so you can add everything so that means 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus okay i'm writing here so i'll start from here so this will be easy for you so this is 2 to the power of 0 i'm writing the place value so 2 to the power of 0 is 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 16 32 64 okay so up to 7 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so we have to add all these things so 12 dot adding everything then so here it is going to be all the 8 bits it is going to be 1 so if you add the place values 1 2 4 8 16 32 64 128 so this is going to be 255 so you no need to do okay addition here and here this is entirely it is going to be 255 1 is reduced from here so this is going to be 254 okay the decimal value is 224 now you have to add everything so instead of okay add all these things i can go for a shortcut method 255 is the total okay 8 bits and here the place value it is going to be 128 so 128 you have to reduce okay once if you reduce 128 you are going to get the answer so 255 minus 128 so this is going to be 127 okay so it is going to be 127 so this is equal to 12 dot 127 dot 255 dot 254 so this is going to be your last host id now i am going for the broadcast ip address okay broadcast ip address so how to calculate the broadcast ip address means so the broadcast ip address is you have to make the entire host part okay the entire host part you have to make everything once so in that case 12 dot okay already it is there only one you have to add it here so 127 255 dot 255 so this is going to be your broadcast ip address so if you take the first submit so the submit id is this 12 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 slash 9 this is your submit id okay so this is going to be your submit id 12 dot 0 dot this is then your first host id is this this is the first host id then 
the last host id so this is the last host id then your broadcast ip address is 12.127.255.255 so this is for the first subnet now i am going for the second subnet so how to calculate for the second subnet i am going okay now if you see the second subnet subnet 2 okay we are going to calculate this for subnet 2 okay same thing i am going to take 12 so 12 dot okay so i am writing here subnet 2 we are going to calculate for subnet 2 okay so 12 dot we borrowed one bit here okay we borrowed one bit here so already for the first subnet i used zero okay the binary value zero i used okay already now i'm going to use the binary value one so now so here it is going to be one because this is the second subnet then this is going to be your third octet and this is the fourth octet now i'm going for the subnet id so what is the subnet id means what is the formula we have to make the entire host part zero okay the entire host part we have to make zero so in that case so 12 dot okay 12 dot this is the place value so you have to find the place value for this so the place value is 128 so there are seven bits available here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so this is 2 to the power of 0 2 to the power of 1 2 to the power of 2 3 4 so if you go like this or i can go like this 1 2 4 8 16 32 64 128 so the place value is 128 so 128.0.0 so this is going to be your subnet id for the second subnet now i'm going for the first host id so what is the first host id means the last bit okay the last bit should be one so we are going to make the host part okay in the host part the last bit okay we are going to make this as one that is a formula so this is equal to one okay 12 dot 128 dot 0 dot 1 so this is going to be your first host id now last host id so what is the last host id means the same thing i am taking 12 okay so here we borrowed one bit and the bit value is going to be 1 so this is going to be 8 bits and here it is 8 bits so how to find what is the rule for finding the last host id means except the last bit okay this is going to be the last bit in your host this is the entirely host part all the bits should be one okay everything should be one so one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven so except the last bit so everything is going to be one now we are we are going to convert into the uh, decimal value so this is going to be 12 now if you see here the entire thing becomes 1 so this is going to be 255 okay this already we know 2 to the power of 0 plus 1 okay so just 1 plus 2 plus 1 2 4 8 16 32 64 128 so if you add everything it is going to be 255 so the same thing applicable here so this is also going to be 255 and this is going to be 254 okay 254 now i am going for the broadcast ip address so broadcast ip address we have to make everything one okay all the bits available in the host pod should be one so in that case if you make this one okay the entire thing it is going to be uh, one so easily we can write it so 12 dot 255 dot 255 dot 255 so this is going to be your broadcast ip address so for the first subnet okay you can write the uh, cadr value so this is going to be slash 9 9 9 9 okay because we borrowed one bit so for the first subnet sorry for the second subnet this is the subnet id this is the first host id so this is the last host id and this is going to be your broadcast ip address okay so this is the first problem in lab number two